Hello children, I welcome you all to the video lecture series by Winning Edge. And in today's video, we are going to talk about ratio and proportion. So ratio proportion is a very important chapter for your exam clearance because हर साल हम देखते हैं कि रेशियो प्रोपोर्शन में से कुछ क्वेश्चंस आर डेफिनेटली प्रेजेंट देयर ठीक है सो उन क्वेश्चंस को हम आज स्टडी करने वाले हैं उन क्वेश्चंस का कॉन्सेप्ट हम स्टडी करने वाले हैं और मैंने इसके ऊपर एक ऑलरेडी एक और वीडियो रिकॉर्ड कर रखी है जिसमें मैंने बहुत सारे क्वेश्चन कर रखे हैं रेशियो प्रोपोर्शन के बीच में सो हेयर टूडे वी आर जस्ट गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द कॉन्सेप्ट एंड सम न्यूमेरिकल्स वील सॉल्व सम क्वेश्चन वील डू जस्ट टू गेट इन टच विद दैट कॉन्सेप्ट All right. So let's get started without wasting any time. And here we are. Meaning of ratio. So let's first understand what is the meaning of ratio. Ratio का मतलब होता क्या है? Now let's say you know you have two things together. आपके पास दो चीजें हैं और आपको दो चीजों को compare करना है. Then we say we are finding out the ratio. For example, here there are ten girls and five boys in a class. A class है जिसमें दस लड़कियां हैं और पांच लड़के हैं. So, अगर मैं इन दोनों को कंपेयर करता हूँ और इसको सिंपलेस्ट फॉर्म में रिड्यूस करके लिख देता हूँ देन इट इज कॉल्ड रेशियो सो इट मीन इट इज एक्चुअली रिटर्न एज टेन बाई फाइव ओके एंड देन इट गेट्स रिड्यूस फाइव टू जेन फाइव वन जो सो इसको हम टू इज टू वन बोलेंगे सो दिस इज द रेशियो रेशियो इज एक्चुअली द सिंपलेस्ट होल नंबर कंपेरिजन विच वी कैन मेक बिटवीन द नंबर और द गिवन क्वान्टिटीज ओके I hope this is clear with you. Now let's look on to the next slide. Ab ratios, uh, children, ratio is something that we use in everyday life. For example, comparing of units. Like if I say kilometer per hour, I am comparing two things, right? The cost of item per kg, hourly rate of the pay. So this is something that we try to keep in touch every day. We study these ratios every day. Now, the ratios are of. different varieties but here we are going to see what are the three ways in which we can write down the ratios okay so number one write the ratio with the word is two so jaise humne wahan pe boys girls wala example liya tha here the number has been changed to eight girls and five boys okay and with this what we see we can write the ratio as this follows that is eight is to five Okay, uh, this is how simply we put down the ratio. There is nothing difficult in that. Uh, but maths may we are not going to write it this way. This could be the statement or statement may eight to five boys be bola ja sakta hai ya eight girls to five girls ऐसे करके भी बोल सकते हैं वो eight girls to five boys ऐसे करके भी लिखा हो सकता है ठीक है. So here anyway we'll focus on the next point, which is here number two. Number two is the actual form which we are going to notice in most of the questions. For example here. There are three apples and four oranges in the basket. What is the ratio of apple to orange? Apple or orange का क्या ratio है? So हम simply क्या करेंगे? पहले तो लिख देंगे three apples to four oranges. फिर उसके बाद three is to four लिख देंगे. So these two dots that you put in are actually read as is to, and this is the most common form that we are going to see in most of the questions in mathematics. All right. So I hope this is clear with you. Now let's look at the third category. How do we write it in the third way? राइट द रेशियो एज अ फ्रैक्शन सो फ्रैक्शन में क्या करते हैं हम बस रेशियो जो होता है उसको अपॉन में लिख देते हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल एंड ब्रांडन वो प्लेइंग बास्केटबॉल ब्रांडन स्कोर फाइव बास्केट एंड हंडर स्कोर सिक्स बास्केट ओके वोट इज द रेशियो ऑफ बास्केट हंडर स्कोर टू द बास्केट ब्रांडन स्कोर की दोनों में कितना स्कोर है रेशियो निकालना है ठीक है सिंपली कंपेरिजन करना है तो सिक्स बास्केट टू फाइव बास्केट दैट इज सिक्स अपॉन फाइव दिस कैन हाउ वी कैन राइट रेशियो ओके सो वी सॉ की इस टू लिख सकते हैं हम दो डॉट्स पुट कर सकते हैं फ्रैक्शन में भी लिख सकते हैं दीज आर द थ्री फॉर्म्स इन व्हिच वी कैन राइट डाउन द फ्रैक्शन एंड हियर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट बास्केटबॉल इफ एनी ऑफ यू लाइक बास्केटबॉल यू कैन पुट इट डाउन इन द कमेंट सेक्शन व्हाट्स योर फेवरेट स्पोर्ट एंड वी विल ट्राई टू पुट इट इन टू आवर नेक्स्ट वीडियो द रिलेटेड स्पोर्ट्स इंफॉर्मेशन सो दैट कैन हेल्प यू एक्सेल इन योर फील्ड मोर एनीवे लेट्स लुक ऑन टू नाउ नेक्स्ट स्लाइड नेक्स्ट स्लाइड में हमारे पास क्या है वी हैव द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ प्रोपोर्शन नाउ रिमेंबर रेशियो वगैरह पे जितने भी क्वेश्चंस हैं और देयर इन अनदर वीडियो मेक श्योर यू चेक दैट वीडियो आउट ऑन आवर चैनल हियर आई एम जस्ट एक्सप्लेनिंग द कांसेप्ट टू यू नाउ प्रोपोर्शन का मीनिंग क्या होता है प्रोपोर्शन आर यू नो बेसिकली व्हेन वी आर कंपेयरिंग टू रेशियोस and those ratios have equal value as you can see in this figure also you know although they both look look different but they both are equal so proportion ka matlab simply hota hai ki do ratios ko equal karna for example if i write down you know 2 by 5 and i write down let's say 4 by 10 okay now this is actually what 2 by 5 to 2 by 5 we score reduce nahi kar sakte but if i reduce 4 by 10 
this can be reduced to 2 by 5. Yeah. So even though in looking, in appearance, they both may be different, but they are actually the same ratios when you put them down into the simplest form. Yeah. So we can say, you know, that 2 by 5 and 4 by 10 both are in proportion. Okay. So, so when two ratios are equal, we say that they are in proportion. Mein I hope you have proportion ka concept of the proportion. Now let's look on to the next slide here. Next slide, what is portions or parts of a proportion? Proportion is basically four parts. Hote this is actually, if I show fraction, mein dikhau, to this is A by B and this is equal to C by B. Okay, so this is basically here. Now in this, children, you need to know certain things that jo B or C are. Okay, the proportion is written in the internal side. Pe, these are called mean proportion or mean parts. Okay, and A or D, jo hai, A or D, in the extreme, mein hai, toh isko extreme proportion. Bolte I hope you have understood the meaning of mean proportion and extreme proportion. And always, children, remember the mean proportion ka product hota hai, that is B into C is always equal to product of extreme proportion that is A into D. So, you will have a lot of questions where B into C would or should be equal to A into D that you have to keep in mind. All right. The next, uh, we have a small question here. What is this question? Let's see. This question says that uh, find the mean proportion between 4 and 6.25. Now, we proportion here, but he has only given us two terms, right? So, how do we find the proportion? So, first, let's try to understand this. As a question, may always we go with the format B square equals to AC. Now, from where does this come? I'll tell you. Proportion is A is to B, proportionate to C is to D. But here, only two terms are given to us, 4 and 6.25. So, in place of A, I'm going to write down 4. In place of D, I'm going to write down 6.25. Okay. Now, which means we don't have B and C term. In this case, we assume that B or C is a mean proportion. B or C ka product, okay? which we assume is the same. So, here B, proportionate to B. Likhenge. Okay, and you know product of mean is equal to product of extreme, which means B square equals to 4 into 6.25. Yes, B will be what? B will be under root 4 into 6.25, Nija 100 below. Okay, under root of 4 is 2, under root of 6.25 is 25, and under root of 100 is 10. 2 into 25 is 50, 50 by 10, which is going to give you 5 as your mean proportion between 4 and 6.25. I hope you have a question or the concept. Now, children, let's look on to the next slide. Next slide, we have a Next slide, we have a question. Hai. What is this question? Uh, let's quickly check this out. So, this question says that Balpreet can run 2 meters in 3 seconds. How long can he take to run 30 meters? So, here we have 2 meters, 3 seconds. And then he's asking us, 30 meters, how many seconds will it take? Yeah. So, we are going to form the ratio of the similar units. So, 2 meter, okay. And 30 meter, the ratio will come. The time will come. The ratio will come. 3 seconds is to x seconds. Okay. Now, what do we put in the middle? We put proportion ka sign. Put kar dete. So here we'll put down the sign of proportion. Now you know product of mean equals to product of extreme. So 30 into 3 equals to 2 into x. 30 into 3 is going to give us 90 equals to 2x. X x will be 90 by 2, which is going to give us 45 seconds. So I hope you have understood this very simple question. 2 meter करने में से 3 seconds लग रहे हैं, तो 30 meter करने में से 45 seconds लग रहे हैं. And we have used the concept of ratio and proportion. Ratio and proportion में always you have to remember कि unit same रखनी है एक side पे ratio के ठीक है. So इस side जो हमने comparison करा है, this side we have compared between meters जो distance है. और इस side हमने comparison करा है time का. Okay. So that you have to keep in mind. You couldn't write 2 by 3 equals to x by 30. Wo galat ho okay? So iska aapko sa dhyan rakhna I hope this is clear to all. Yeah. If you have any doubt, please you can put it down in the comment section. After this, what does it say? Uh, we have another question. Let's check this out. 
here it says that two numbers are in the ratio two is to three. Two numbers are in the ratio two is to three. Two numbers are in the ratio two is to three. Two numbers are in the ratio two is to three. Two numbers are in the ratio two is to three. Two numbers are in the ratio two is to three. Two numbers are in the ratio two is to three. Two numbers are in the ratio two is to three. Two numbers are in the ratio two is to three. Two numbers are in the ratio two is to three. Two numbers are in the ratio two is to three. Two numbers are in the ratio two is to three. Two numbers are in the ratio two is to three. Two numbers are in the ratio two is to three. Two numbers are in the ratio two is to three. Two numbers are in the ratio two is to three. Two numbers are in the ratio two is to three. Two numbers are in the ratio two is to three. Two numbers are in the ratio two is to three. Two numbers are in the ratio two is to three. Two numbers are in the ratio two is to three. Two numbers are in the ratio two is to three. Two numbers are in the ratio two is to three. Two numbers are in the ratio two is to three. Two numbers are in the ratio two is to three. Two numbers are in the ratio two is to three. Two numbers are in the ratio two is to three. Two numbers are in the ratio two is to three. Two numbers Upon three x, we are not cutting x right now because he's saying nine is added to each of them. So we add nine to each of them. All right. Then he says this ratio becomes three is to four. ये ratio किसके equal हो जाता है? Three is to four means three by four. Now simply we are, here we have to use the concept of uh, cross multiplication, and we are going to cross multiply this. What will this give us? This will give us four times two x plus nine, which will be equal to three times. 3x plus 9. I hope everyone is clear with this. Yeah. Now let's put it down. 4 to the 8. 8x plus 4 9s are 36. Equals to 3 3s are 9 and 3 9s are 27. So now what are we going to do? 27 को हम दूसरी साइड ले जाएंगे. ठीक है. और इसको x को भी ना 8x को भी दूसरी साइड ले जाते हैं. Let's bring this here. Let's take this this particular term on the other hand. So this becomes 9x minus 8x, and here it is. 36 minus 27. I hope you have understood this part. When you subtract this, subtract करने के बाद यहाँ पे हमारे पास 9 बचता है और इधर x बचता है. तो x की वैल्यू 9 आ गई. Now x is not our answer, children. We have to actually find out the numbers. So numbers were 2x, which means 2 into x की वैल्यू which is 9. 2 nines are 18 is the first number. Other number was 3x, which means 3 into 9, which is 27. So two numbers you have here are what are 18 or 27. So I hope you have understood this part and this question as well. This question it is saying if a three gallon jug of juice costs rupees nine, one uh, three gallon wala jo jug hai uske cost kitna hai? It is rupees nine. Okay. He's asking you how many three gallon jugs can be purchased for rupees forty five. Rupees forty five mein kitna aa sakte hai? Okay. Simply we'll form the ratio. ठीक है इस रेशियो बिटवीन द जग्स दैट वी हैव वी हैव वन थ्री गैलन जग और कितने आने हैं हमें नहीं पता सो लेट दैट नंबर बी एक्स ओके वी हैव टू पुट इन प्रोपोर्शन विद द प्राइसेस ऑल राइट सो द प्राइस फॉर वन इज रुपीस नाइन एंड द प्राइस फॉर व्हाटेवर नंबर वी आर बाइंग इज टोटल प्राइस गिवन टू अस एस फोर्टी फाइव सो � So product of means equals to product of extremes. So nine into x nine x one into forty five is forty five. X from here will be forty five by nine, which is going to give us five. So there will be five three gallon jugs of milk. I hope you have understood this. So five will be your answer here. Any doubts? You can definitely put it down in the comment section. For this video, we have this much only. If you have any doubts, children, as I already told you, you can put it down for us, and you can contact us at these details. You can download our Winning Edge app, which is available over Play Store. These are our address, contact details, and other social media handle details. You can definitely reach out to us, and if you have problem doing that, you can definitely comment down. That's the easiest thing which you can do. If you found this video interesting, if you found it helpful, please share it with your friends. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and keep watching, keep studying. Till then, this is Daljinder, your mentor for mathematics from the Winning Edge. I'll see you in the next video.